What? What are you saying? You mean, I'm the only idiot on the internet that went naked? Oh gosh darn, what are we going to do about this? Take a look below and find out what happened. Oh, I'm so mortified. Well, I think this is probably a little bit better. I, a lot of y'all don't get the passing car, you're not in Charleston, but those of you from Charleston, I find this kind of interesting, I don't know what you saw today. Talking about going green, front page, energy efficiency, and uh, apparently we're creating environmentally friendly jobs, and we're going to put Charleston on the map as a national model. All right, good stuff. Uh, article by David Slade, very well written, says uh, Mayor Joe Riley pledged in 2005 to substantially reduce Charleston's greenhouse gas emissions in order to combat climate change. Whew. And, you know, gosh, are we going to win this war or not? That's, that's what kind of gets me. I, I had occasion to fly a lot this weekend, and I was flying from Philadelphia to Charleston Sunday night, last night, and I sat next to this guy named Mark Spitzer, interesting man. He was, uh, he worked for the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, a former state senator, Republican state senator from uh, Arizona, knew John McCain personally, really nice guy. By the way, I understand he, he said he was a distant cousin to Elliot Spitzer of New York. Um, he said it was fifth cousin once removed, and I said, well, actually, in Charleston, that's a very close cousin, but that's a different story. <laughs> we were talking about global warming, and for those of you who have followed me for a long time, you know I think it's an absolute crock. I'm not saying that the planet's not warming, I'm saying that we can't do it. I saw a thing on Krakatoa the other day, wow. And you talk about screwing up the planet. All right. But it, you see, this stuff doesn't really screw the planet up. And it's like Mother Earth, right? Gaia is what they call it, I believe. We can't screw up the Earth. We can screw ourselves up, and we seem to do a fine job of that. You know what? If we can do everything environmentally friendly without dire consequences, I say go for it. I think cap and trade's a scam. I think global warming's a scam. Um, you know, I just hate to say it once again, and I'm not going to single Joe Riley out on this. I think any other mayor would do it too, and he's trying to put us in the forefront of things. Of course, casting himself in a very good light, but you know, I understand it. I understand it. I mean, the thing is, if you say that you don't believe in global warming, and when I say global warming, I don't mean that I don't believe the climate is changing. I'm just saying that we didn't do it. And if we did do it, I would ask, at what point are we going to win this battle? At what point are we going to turn this thing around? Remember the commercial a couple of years ago with the train barreling down on the girl? Well, it looked like a little late to stop the train. And if it took us that long to do it, say they're saying 500 years. We destroyed the planet for 500 years. Okay, fine. So, how are we going to turn that around in the next 10 years? I, I just don't see it. As part of it's a new smart grid technology, I really don't trust this. I don't want the government to control the heat in my, um, you know, I don't, want, I don't want the government to control the heat in my house, the cooling in my house. I don't want the government to tell me when to run my dishwasher if I had one. I, this is just bad stuff. This is 2 1984-ish. You want to waste this money, fine. You're not destroying the planet.